Hey yo, football fans, it's another the great, great year. Yep. Fantasy football fiends, grab, grab your beer. Uh. Giving you the best draft tips for all your picks. Starts and sits to the wave of wide fix. For my grabs galore, the stats that's hardcore. Triple F does it all, have y'all screaming more. So sit back, relax, let the experts prevail. JT Magnum, Ziggy Guns never fail. What's up, fantasy football fiends? My name is Ziggy Guns, along with JT Magnum. And today we're going to be talking about a little bit about the Giants Bears game. We don't not much to talk about there, only a couple of keynotes, and then we'll do straight to our pickums for week number six of the NFL season. I mean, so man, already six weeks. So JT, did you watch the game yesterday? Uh, hardly. <laughs> I actually was working, and I came home. I watched a little bit at work on my phone. And then I got home and I went pretty much went to bed. I saw the score. I think it was 27-14 when I went to bed. Ended up 27-21. But Eli Manning looked booty. <laughs> like he looked, he looked horrible. And um, right. yeah, he he looked horrible with his first five passes through two interceptions. One of them a pick six. Played pretty well to get the Giants, you know, back in the game. There was some help with the refs on one call that was kind of weird where. Ruben Randall spiked the ball after he tripped, or he, you know, he threw the ball down in anger, and they called him that he gave himself up when he slipped, and it should have been a fumble. But oh, I saw that end, play. I thought he yeah, got yeah. touched. I yeah, thought he. he I thought before he, before he spiked it, I thought he was touched. It looked like it looked like it was touched on the replay, but I don't know. I couldn't really tell. I kept looking at it, and to me, it looked like he was touched just before he spiked it. Man, he wasn't touched, dude. That was a fumble all the way. But the ref said that he gave himself up, and, you know, they thought he slid pretty much instead of slipping. And they just they said it was unreviewable. Uh, that was a, It was a questionable call. Certainly if the Giants would have come back and win that game, that would have been what everybody would have been talking about is that one play. <laughs> but instead, the Bears did win. It was 27-21. It was another interception at the end that killed Eli Manning and the Giants – their chances for the first one of the year. I mean, the team looks <laughs> like it's falling apart. The one thing yeah, fantasy wise that you know, one thing fantasy wise that did come out of it that was pretty good was Brandon Jacobs. I say pick him up because like we talked about with some of these other people, like Willis McGahey, he's a starter. David Wilson might be hurt for the rest of the year. They're saying with his neck injury, which he had a horrible fantasy season anyways. Lots of promise, didn't live up to it. And Brandon Jacobs might be the man now. So pick yeah. him up. The only thing I'll be concerned with with him is injuries. He came up lame at the end of the game. Something that you probably got to look forward and, you know, look closely going forward, especially since he's getting up there in the age. And now that he's carrying the full load, you know, that's a lot of miles he's going to be putting on the legs. Yeah, what I what I got out of it was start any running back against the Bears defense because if Brandon Jacobs ran for 100 yards against the Bears defense, that means any other running back can run for 100 yards against the Bears defense. And right now, they're <laughs> all banged up. I think they got like two or three defensive tackles out. So that's why they're giving up a lot of yardage on the ground. And the Giants, as you know, have not been running the ball well this year. Yeah. So if they ran the ball against the Bears that easily, think about what other teams could do against the Bears this year. So start. If you have a running back going against the Bears in the next come up and coming weeks, start them. Because <laughs> they're true. not getting any healthy and they can't stop the run right now. Exactly. Interesting, interesting going forward. All right, what do you think? Before we start in the pick, it was Giants, playoffs or no playoffs at 0-5? They're not making the playoffs. They're done. They're, they're done. They're done, right? Yeah, they're done. I don't even care if the Cowboys lose the rest of their games they're pro or the Redskins, whatever. They're, they're done. They're not, they're not, they're not, they're not, they'll be lucky if they win a game. They better, <laughs> hope, they better hope they play Jacksonville, and they might even lose to them the way they're playing. <laughs> I think they'll win a game. I I actually think that they – I don't think they're going to go 8-3 and three to try to, you know, make a run for the thing. But I actually think they might finish either 6-10 and 10 or 7-9 and nine. just just by the way the, the rest of the division is. It's just a bad division right now. And they could still beat any one of those teams in the division yeah, if they – I don't know. They, they look really horrible. <laughs> they, they look – They look they, horrible. They played well enough to win yesterday. They just didn't do it. Yeah. All right, let's get into the – let's get into the picks. Carolina at Minnesota – Sunday. What do you think about this game? Um, oh, well, I like I like Carolina's defense, but I think Minnesota is going to be. Uh, I think Minnesota is going to play very well. I think with all the stuff that's going on in the news, plus you know they just signed a, they just signed uh, Freeman, 
Castle's probably going to play lights out football and try to <laughs> keep this job, <laughs> even though he's not probably because Freeman's going to end up starting. But I, I like Minnesota. I like Minnesota also. Yeah, you're right about the news. Uh, we won't touch up on it today, but yeah, it's just they're probably going to be, you know, rallying around. The team is probably going to be, you know, rallied. So I don't, I don't see them losing at home. Green Bay at Baltimore. What do you think? Um, I like Green Bay. I just their defense has been playing pretty well this year, and I don't know. They, they I just don't think that. I, I don't know. I just see, they've been stopping the run really well. So I know it's at Baltimore. They play different, but just I like Aaron Rodgers, man. Aaron Rodgers against that Baltimore secondary. I just I just like Green Bay. Yeah, Baltimore secondary is was looking bad, especially around the middle. If Jermichael Finley's healthy, he should have a pretty big game. And then Rodgers is always going to make the team, you know, match up any offense pretty much. So if Baltimore, if Flacco plays good, Aaron Rodgers will play just as good, if not better. So in the end, Green Bay can win. I actually think it would be a close game. I think Baltimore's starting to form. Detroit at Cleveland. Huh. I guess this depends if Megatron plays. If, true. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and think that he's not playing. I just don't think he's gonna be able to play. They're not, they're not gonna let him play because they don't want him hurt the whole year. So I'm gonna actually take Cleveland. I actually think that's a good pick until you start mentioning quarterback play and it's Brandon Whedon. He's <laughs> just he hasn't shown me anything. And Cleveland was they had a good thing going, but the, the Hoyer being down is just it, it's devastating, especially since the team, you know, had like a resurgence. I, I don't know. I, I even without Megatron, Detroit is a pretty good team. They still got pieces around, you know, Stafford. I'm about to go Detroit, Philadelphia at Tampa Bay. Um, who that's a tough one because both teams stink. Um, Michael Vick's not playing. Nick Foles. And you know what? The last time Nick Foles pl played Tampa Bay, he did really well. But the problem is this wasn't the same secondary. So I'm going to go, you know what? I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go with Philly. Because Tampa Bay's offense is so inept with that rookie quarterback. I'm going to go ahead and go Philly also. And it's, yeah, the Tampa Bay's rookie quarterback. And then also, even without... Michael Vick, Nick Foles has shown so far that he actually can play in the system, which I'm kind of surprised by it. And I would just think that the offense is just good enough to beat Tampa Bay, even with a you know strong secondary by Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay just doesn't have the offense right now, I think, to match it. Then again, they are home, but we'll see. I think it might be close, but Philadelphia. St. Louis at Houston. Uh, Houston. 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 Yeah. St. Louis can't, <laughs> St. Louis can't hang with that defense. That defense is tough. That defense is tough. They, especially the pass defense, and that's all St. Louis has right now. It's a pass. It's the, or at least that's all they can do. Yeah, the shop, shop, still... can't, shop can't mess this one up. There's no way There's no way St. Louis can can score on that defense. Sit Sam Bradford this week. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Houston all the way around. All right, Cincinnati at Buffalo. Um, It's a tough one because the Bills are playing so well despite injuries and everything going on i'm gonna pick i'm gonna actually pick the bills man that's shocking i'm i'm gonna stick some even though they're starting tad lewis i know they're starting that you know a young rookie but he's not a rookie but i i, I i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna go with the bills you go with the bills even though he's, who's the quarterback tool what is it i forgot his name no he's not playing it's tad lewis oh. he's starting thaddeus lewis Holy his name is yeah, I'm definitely going to Cincinnati then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think the Bills, this is one of those games, man. Cincinnati's going to come in, Bills are going to just upset them. Shock everybody? I don't know, man. Cincinnati isn't losing anybody. I mean, they still have a good defense. We'll see. I, I, I think Cincinnati will pull it off. Pittsburgh at the Jets. All of a sudden, the Jets are looking good. Yeah, I like, um, I like the Jets. Their defense man. is playing really well. Offense is playing good, and Pittsburgh can't stop the run. They, the Jets actually might run wild this weekend. Pittsburgh's having a hard time, and their, their defense is not the same. Yeah, I mean, the team, I mean, it's certainly Ben Roethlisberger is starting to look better. He's throwing for over 300 yards now. He's, you know, Antonio Brown's looking good. But against the Jets defense, I'm not sure if that's going to mean anything, especially we just saw what they did 
with Matt Ryan against you know Julio Jones and all that. So yeah, it, if it comes down to defensive game and run game, Jets have the edge. It looks like because the only thing Pittsburgh has is a uh, Bell and the Jets can stop the run. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go Jets also. Go Jets. Woo. Oakland <laughs> at Kansas City. Do we need to talk about it? <laughs> Oakland at Kansas City. Um, no. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go upset. You're gonna go upset. Yep, I'm gonna. Really? I think oh, I think Oakland's gonna upset them this week. Oakland's been Ooh. playing really good defensively, and I think Terrell Pryor might run around in Kansas City. We'll see what happens. I think. I, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go upset in Kansas City. I don't care. I'm gonna say it. Oakland. Man, now you know what? I can see that happen. I mean, division games are you know they always co- you know come down to the end. It seems Kansas City's gonna win Kansas like City. thirty-seven to nothing. <laughs> Kansas, Kansas City just has something going on with them right now that's special. So I just want Alex City. Smith to lose. I'm tired about. It. I'm tired of hearing about him. <laughs> well, then you're tired of hearing the next game: Tennessee at Seattle. Um, at Seattle, you already know it's yep. Seahawks. They they can't. They won't lose at home. They won't lose at home, not even with replacement refs. <laughs> that's that's pretty much um, eight wins guaranteed a year for them. Because yeah, they, they just like can't it. lose at home, it seems like. All right, go to the next game. I'll pick St. Seattle also. Jacksonville at Denver. Oh, man, upset letter, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be upset if Denver didn't win by 40. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Denver, uh, Denver, 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 and a laugher. Denver and a laugher. I agree. I think I actually think Jacksonville will score some points though, but it might be fifty-four to twenty-eight by the time you know it. <laughs> yeah. New Orleans at New England. Game of the um, week. I'm gonna pick New England. I, there's no way. New, New England's tough. At, New England's tough at home, and and New Orleans is tough. And New Orleans is not the same outside of the home. I'm telling you, New Orleans is not the same outside of New Orleans. No. And if that, that game, that heaven help it rains or heaven help something happens, but New Orleans is just not the same team on grass. So I'm going to pick New England. New Orleans secondary is awesome this year, and New England's receivers are not awesome this year. Tom Brady can't make them look good. Yeah, but the only thing is New Orleans hasn't really played anybody with a, with a really good passing game other than Atlanta, and they were hurt at the beginning of the year. And they and we could say the same thing about New England. The only game they played that was any good was Atlanta, right? True, but they shut them down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Arizona at San Francisco. San Francisco. San Francisco. Uh, I don't. I actually think this game might be a little closer than people think. Um, I'm hoping not. <laughs> I'm hoping for a blowout, San Fran. But is uh, this, is this going to be the game, the return of Colin Kaepernick being? What everybody no, expects them to be. No, they're going to run the ball. They're so. going to run and run and run and run again. They haven't been passing the ball, and I don't know why, but they just haven't. They need a trade for Josh Gordon. I made a video about it this week. They need a trade for Josh Gordon now. Like, do it yesterday. Nice. I, heard, I heard they offered a second-round pick. Or, no, or no, they're asking wondering. for a second-round pick, and Dude. San Fran still hasn't made a deal yet. And I th- they're waiting for Mario Manningham and Crabtree. They're not going to be back to about week 10. I don't know why they just don't just go f- do it now. Do it now. Hurry Do up now. and trade and yep. get get a guy that's like a T. He's almost he'd be like the next thing, best thing since they had since TL. He's that yep. big. He's that tall. He's that fast. Just get him. Get him now. We need every bit of wide receiver we can, and I still don't know why they haven't gotten him. <laughs> like I've, I've already Washington. traded for him. <laughs> <laughs> Washington at Dallas Sunday Night Football. Um, I'm gonna pick Dallas because they're at home. And and I think Tony Romo is going to bounce back really well. And Washington secondary sucks, so I, I think Dallas. Yards, this is going to this is going to be a shootout. Like Redskins are going to run all over them. I think actually the Cowboys are going to run all over them too. They're going to run and pass all over. I, I don't. Re- I actually think that they might. This might be a shootout, but Dallas is going to score a lot, way more points. They might score as many points as they did last week. Can you imagine back to back 500 yard games? I mean, that, that's the potential we we. No, I think they're going to run the ball a lot better this week because yeah, Denver's ground, ground game is tough, but Washington for some reason just cannot stop the run. I think that Dallas is going to be able to run all over them this week. Indianapolis at San Diego. Um, I'm going to pick San Diego. I think uh, just because they're at home, and I think they're going to. Um, this might be another shootout, actually. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of shootouts this weekend, I think. Weak. 
It is. I, I, I expect T.Y. Hilton to go off. I expect Reggie Wayne to pretty much have a solid game like always. And, I mean, even if the running back situation isn't clear yet, you know, since they lost Bradshaw and all that, I, I think they're going to be throwing all over San Diego. But at the same time, San Diego's probably going to be throwing all over Indianapolis. So yeah. it does have shootout. I'm still going to go to Indianapolis. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for the Pickums. Anything else? That was the Monday night game? Indianapolis at San Diego? That was the Monday night game. Wow, man. Who's Sunday night? Uh, Washington and Dallas. Nice. Cool. Wow. I, I must be, it was only two teams on a bye. Yeah. I, 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 I think I so. You used to be where a whole bunch of teams get on the bye. It's, it hasn't been like that this year, huh? Yeah, they stopped doing that. They're making like two bye weeks or something now. Like, I they don't know. It's weird. Around. Yeah, it's weird how they do it now. But whatever. <laughs> we got to talk about that too one day. Yeah. All right, leave your right. comments in the comment section below. Yep. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> Feel free to leave your it's comments. your show, too. In the comment section <laughs> below. Um, and um, it makes you <laughs> tell us what teams you think is what, who's going to win, specifically New Orleans and New England. I want to know what you all think out there about that game. Yeah. I think New Orleans is going to destroy New England. And San Fran and Arizona. Who do you think is going to win? And do you think San Fran? (laughs) You already know San Francisco is going to (laughs) win. Oh, man. Oh, and the ticker at the bottom. Sorry, but I accidentally left it at week five from last week again. I changed it to week six this time again. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting to change the dates of of the... of the uh of the ticker at the bottom but just know that whatever week we're talking about that's the week that we we do change the players <laughs> i just keep forgetting <laughs> to change the number of the week that's all so i apologize for that i will get better at that i promise so for uh jt magnum and siggy guns fantasy football fiends we out peace, peace.